With the special election for San Diego's next mayor now just days away, the pressure is on this weekend to get out the vote. New at 6, 10 News reporter Candace Crone is live with the Registrar of Voters with the candidate's final pitch to undecided voters. Candace? Well, the candidates were busy getting out the vote today, along with hundreds of volunteers, both men hoping that the ballots counted here on Election Day are enough to put them in office. With their packets in hand, volunteers for mayoral candidate David Alvarez went door to door. I was wondering if we can count on your vote for David. Okay. Hoping to garner last minute votes for Alvarez ahead of Election Day. So we've been working really hard, talking to thousands, actually now over hundreds of thousands of voters, and we're seeing the returns coming in that, that are good. Across town, a similar scene. We want to get out there. We want to pound the pavement. We want to talk to people. Volunteers got their instructions, then hit the pavement, while others stayed behind to rally support by phone. The last couple days, there's no substitute for just plain old hard work. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Hard work both candidates hope will pay off at the polls. Saturday's strategy was all about face-to-face -face interaction, a softer approach than recent negative ads attacking both men. There's no doubt that these out-of-town government employee unions are spending literally $4 million against me, uh, but I'm not letting that distract us. I don't think it's going to have any, uh, any impact on the race. I think we're, when you talk to voters at their home, or when you talk to them over the phone, that's what makes a difference. A difference that could come down to voters who haven't made up their minds. And for those undecided, Faulkner and Alvarez have this final pitch. As a native San Diegan, like everybody else who lives here, we want to give everybody that opportunity to be successful, whether you're a small business owner, a family, a single mother, anybody. Street repair, keeping our libraries and rec centers open on nights and weekends, hiring more police officers. That's my vision for a city that works. And both men say they'll continue to make calls and canvas neighborhoods up until Tuesday. And the polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. Live in Kearney Mesa tonight, Candace Crone, 10 News.